hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to make a countdown timer inside your angular 9 application for this tutorial i will be using this library which is ngx dash countdown so this is a angular 9 countdown timer library if you want to make countdown timer i can just show you the live demo what we will be building if i click on this live demo option you will be building this timer here you can see that this timer will run with the whatever time that you provide 30 seconds or 60 seconds like this so this is the demo so in, in order to install this this is pretty simple just go to command prompt of your angular 9 application and execute this command which is npm install ngx countdown so basically i will be going to my this is my command prompt just install this npm install dash dash save ngx dash countdown so this is the library name here let me just clarify ngx dash countdown so this is the library here ngx dash countdown so you can see that so just install this and after that you need to include it inside your app.module.ts file so this is the file here inside your angular 9 project app.module.ts first of all you need to import this so just write import and we will be importing it from the module here which is ngx this is a countdown you can see that this is a module and inside this we just need to import uh, ngx I think the name of the module is uh, countdown so you can see that this is a module uh, countdown modules this is a module guys so import it so after importing it you also need to in add it inside your import array so just put a comma and uh, import this countdown module like this so after importing this inside your app.module.ts file now we can just use this inside our app.component.html file so the markup is pretty simple if i just show you this uh, we have a countdown tag here let me just copy paste it we have to provide a configuration object so this is a configuration object and the first option it takes is the number of seconds that you want to have your timer i have provided 30 seconds here now if i refresh the application you will see that as i reload the page a countdown will begin from 30 seconds you will see that 30 29 28 27 26 25 so this countdown will go here from how many seconds that you have provided let me just change this to uh, 20 so now basically it will be going from 20 seconds if I reload 20 19 18 like this so this is a pretty simple example of countdown timer in angular 9 application and uh, let me just show you a different option which is this option let me have so this is a second example it takes a configuration object this time 30 seconds is provided left time and the second property is demand is equal to true so in this case it will be it will not be beginning instantly when you reload the page you will see that it will not begin this countdown will not begin let me just make it on the next line so that you can see in order to create some space let me add a break tag so now what you will see here the second timer will not start you can see the first timer instantly starts when we re reload the application but this countdown timer will not start we can just bound, bind this uh, button here when we press the button we need to start this timer for that we just need to add a, a reference to that timer let me just have countdown and now we can just create a simple button start and then we can just bind a simple click event listener so when we click the button we just need to have countdown 
dot resume this is a method here which will start the timer for us so now we first of all we need to give it a reference to this countdown timer which we have given which is hash symbol countdown so this is a simple way by which you can just bind it and now inside this button we have binded a on click event listener we have binded this countdown dot resume method so when we click the button it will resume the timer for us so now what we will see if I click start here you will see that the timer will start 28 25 24 so in this easy way you can just bind a countdown timer whenever you want to start it by the help of a button inside your angular 9 application and let me just show you the last example which is pretty good example let me have two break tags once again so this will be the third example and now you will see that I have let me just delete this we don't need this uh, we don't need this event object we can just delete this cut this and also this cut so we have this countdown here we have given a reference to it of cd1 and this configuration object contains one property which is the number of seconds of the timer which is 30 seconds now we can create four buttons which will be having the start functionality pause functionality restart and stop so this will be starting the here so basically it will resume the counter for us so we can just change this to cd1 the next button will actually stop the timer which is stop method so here I can just change this to CD1 the third one will be pause so basically it will pause the timer it will stop it so let me just change the name to stop the method will be simply pause and the last method is let me just see the method here the last method is guys restart so yes restart so basically there is a restart method which will actually reset the options of the timer and restart it so that's it and also let me just change this to cd1 and let me just change this to resume so now what you will see guys this third timer will not it, it will start instantly as we reload the page but at any point of time we can just pause the timer as well so if I click the pause button you will see that the timer will uh, will stop here and if now if I want to resume it I cannot uh, I can just click the resume button to resume the timer like this and if I need to stop it uh, permanently I can just click the stop button now I cannot resume the timer like this the pause button will not work uh, now I just need to restart it so I can just click the restart and then it will be again be starting from scratch which is 30 seconds I can pause this and then resume it stop it and then restart it so this is a very simple library of angular 9 by which you can just create any sort of countdown timers inside your angular 9 application so this the library name is ngx dash countdown it is available as a node dependency inside your angular 9 application the command is pretty simple npm install ngx countdown i have shown you three examples of this how to create a very basic timer the second example is actually a button which will actually start the timer for you and the third example involves four buttons of resuming the timer stopping the timer pausing the timer or restarting it so thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also hit the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much